I, Stephen Arnold Douglas, will be running for the Northern Democratic Republic for Presidency of the United States. I will be running to forge and refine this great country on the ideas of unity and slavery. I shall vigorously fight for this country to grow and defend this country when attacked. I am known for my speeches about the acts and laws I have established to propel the United States past slavery issues and keeping the United States at peace. I believe that the runner John C. Breckinridge will not be suitable to make actions worthy to this country, for he holds disappointing plans for America. Breckinridge has a main focus to expand slavery, creating an unbalanced country, and would cause him to be a president that only focuses on slavery issues and not the country as a whole. Another presidential runner is Sir Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln is a respected man for he can fulfill his wishes and rights, but not all are pure. Lincoln is corrupted by the Africans. I believe that he welcomes slaves too well to civilization and stretches slavery past its boundaries, making slaves almost considered free. I only stand to make the slaves continue how they are, not progressing slavery to increase or decrease in freedom. I wish to grant what the people want, so I establish the Popular Sovereignty Act to please the problems that involve slavery. For if a man wishes to contain slaves in the state, he can through voting. And if a man wishes to not contain slaves, he can also through voting. I believe in a white man to prosper, for if it was a white man and a black man, I would vote for the white man, but if it was a black man and a crocodile, I would choose the black man. If the United States was to come apart, but was able to stand together through sacrificing slavery, I would abolish all slaves to keep the union intact. I have much importance in my country and will continue to respond to its demands and take pride in the country's accomplishments, unlike a man who is not great feeling for the United States named John Bell. John Bell rests on the idea that the United States should not expand and grow, for he does not show desires or pride of it, but shame. For as the president such as this should not be tolerated. What is a president who does not believe in his country? For he is not worthy to be the president. While John Bell frowns on the idea of the Mexican War, I saw it as a great victory for America. I only wish our nation to succeed, but only through hard labor can we finish a hard job. And with the nation so greatly in trouble, the American people should stand and speak that only Douglas can stop the ruckus. I shall make this country rise, staying powerful and whole as it always should. Hello, my name is John Bell, and I may be a slave owner, but the U.S. does not need to expand slavery. I have been nominated by the U.S. Constitutional Union Party, which I am a member of. The issue of slavery should be settled with compromises. We all need to agree on something to settle the issue. Stephen Douglas says that the Mexican War was a great victory, but it was just a brutal and unnecessary war. A buffoon like that should never be in charge of this country just like John Birkenridge who wants to expand slavery when it will just cause more issues in the country. Both of these runners have the idea of expanding problems in our country. This will just put our country into bad problems that we do not need. Lastly, nobody wants a depressed leader in charge of the country like Abraham Lincoln. He is not in his right mind to be in charge of this country. So, let freedom ring and vote for John Bell. I'm here to be your leader as president while protecting Southern rights of the Fifth Amendment, which states, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. The government wants to take away Negro slaves from plantation owners with no compensation whatsoever, leaving the Southern economy to fend for themselves. Compensation of the Southern states is certain if such measures are taken. But rest assured that I, as your representative will strive to protect your right to private property and to allow the spread of southern agricultural economy throughout the western territories, all the while keeping the union together. Mr. Stephen Douglas of United uh, Illinois believes popular sovereignty is the best course of action to take to a peace. Hello, my name is Abraham Lincoln. I am a part of the Republican Party and I will fight to stop the expansion of slavery. Stephen Douglas is one of the best friends on the election. I cannot. I am the, not the most valuable candidate running in this election, but at the end, I will win. I will fight the civil war to keep the union together, not the end slave, but it is my sacred duty to stop the state expansion. Vote Abraham Lincoln for president. All men are equal, let's make them all free. The union needs to come together as one as well, as slave and part of two. God does the answer to continue slavery. He goes against proper sovereignty and doesn't believe in that idea. I am here to be your leader. If you want to be on one accord with your brothers and sisters, I'm not going to make it